All right, guys, so a pretty exciting video today. Painted the back of the 20-gallon tanks and also completed the 20-gallon rack. There's going to be three 20-gallons on there. And this is the first rack that's going to be going in the fish room. So let's take a look at the entire process of setting it up, drilling it to the wall, moving it into the fish room, and then obviously putting water and fish in it. All that to come right after this. All right, so we got the aquarium rack moved, put all the 20 gallons in it, and overall it looks pretty good. All the spray paint back in that I did looks solid as well. I just really like the matte black. I also put two little pieces of wood on the back there just to help keep it stable. And right now I've actually not got it connected to the wall in any way. It was pretty stable, but as you'll see in a second, I decided that drilling it to the wall into the two by fours on the other side would be the best option but first i wanted to do a test fill on all the tanks so i filled them up by about 15 gallons and left them for a few days once i'd done that and figured everything was fine i drained them and then decided to drill them into the wall in four places The first two places are towards the top of the stand, so as you can see one close to us and then one on the far side. And they're actually drilled straight into the 2x4s on the other side of the wall. So this thing will be going nowhere. First one that we looked at into that one, second one into the closer one. And they were done with 3 inch screws, 3.5 inch screws, something like that. And then I decided to also connect the bottom little supports that I use to the wall as well as you can see one on either side so this stands pretty strong and it's not going to go anywhere I, I mean I'm trying to move it there it's going nowhere so definitely not worried about this going anywhere or becoming unstable and that's something that I really want to focus on seeing as this is my first ever aquarium rack build so pretty happy with how it went so after that, it was time to increase the aquarium's temperature as I wanted pretty much a seamless transition for the fish that I were going to be moving. I also quickly made a DIY lid from the polycarbonate that you get from Home Depot. Loads of aquarium channels do this and it's a really cost-effective way of creating lids. And it's kind of rather fitting, but these guys, which are my blue neons, are going to be the first fish into the new fish room including that stud male there. Look at that guy, maybe 1.5 inch and showing tremendous color. But real quick, as I'm sure many of you know, we've got more racks coming. So this little box came today from Amazon, more sponge filters. So pretty happy about that. We should have no delays. So let's get this thing going. First off, we're gonna drain some water out of the 10 gallon. And I'm doing this so the water and the pH, the parameters, everything like that is gonna be a little bit more like the 10 gallon that they're coming from. And I'll basically just transfer this from the 10 gallon to the 20. I only did a water change about two days ago anyway, so it's not as if there'll be a crazy amount of nitrates in there. So here's the 20 gallon, got a filter running, sponge filter from the 10 gallon running as well. Everything's cycled and I've got some heaters in there, really trying to rank up that temperature as right now it's only about 72, 73 and I want it to be about 78. So just got two or three heaters in there. Everything's a little messy now. I'll clean it up in a little bit, but everything's set up. Tank's moderately drained and all we've got to do is catch the fish. And my main concern in this process is just making sure that this move is basically seamless. So I'm wanting it to go as quick as possible. So I'm leaving them in this tank for as long as possible. While I set everything up, get the temperature right, get the filtration going, get the hardscape done, and then I'll just transfer them. So real quick, 
I didn't worry about filming just because I wanted to get them in there. I'm more concerned about their safety than filming, so apologies for that. But once they're in there, looking good, everything's set up. Heater's going, filter's going, and the filter on the other side's going. So happy days. Every single one of them were moved over very, very quickly. And that's the first tank filled up in the rack. There is other tanks filled with water, but nothing in them so far. And I'm hoping to get a heater for the room in the next few days. That way I don't have to run any heaters in these tanks, but just wanted to get this in there. And right now they're looking pretty good. So let's take a closer look. And be sure to contact me if you're interested in any of these blue neon juveniles. I've probably got about 25 right now. And I'm aiming to sell them all besides the stud mail that you'll see in this video at occasional points. But let's feed them real quick. So there's the first aquarium of the new racking system, fully up and operational, really, really happy with it. And as you can see right now, the blue neons are doing great, eating really, really well. And they've been in there about two or three days now. In other news, my little planter tank that's just focusing on the growth of the plants is doing really, really well. Just growing these plants for an upcoming project. But look at this German blue ram just looks stunning in there with three auto sinkless and two amano shrimp so pretty lightly stocked but look at his color absolutely awesome got some mess weapons in the foreground and also some dwarf hair grass that i most recently got seems to be growing nicely and hopefully these plants will continue growing for an upcoming project so stay tuned for that if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do. We've got videos coming thick and fast of at least one every single week. Got a lot of projects on the way, including more racks, setting up the fish room, breeding fish, probably buying more fish because that's just what we do. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.